In this video, we're going to add an image to our Rome content page, and it's going to be an image of the Roman Senate. So it's appropriate to put it right between these two paragraphs. And once again, we're going to use Visual Studio to manage the image, just like we're using it to manage our content pages. And we already have an images folder. Now, you can handle this one of two ways. You can actually copy the image and keep your image and your content pages all in the same folder, or you can separate your images from your web pages. I actually like to keep the images separate, but I create an identical structure. So uh, actually this Rome.png, remember we were using that for our default content page. I don't usually put those in any folder if the image is on the default page. I just leave those in the root of the images folder. So let's go ahead and create a new folder and we'll call this Rome. So we're keeping the same structure that we are for the web pages down here. So same structure. And now what we need to do is put the image that we want to put in our content page inside this folder. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's just minimize this. And you can see I've downloaded this image of the Roman Senate. So this is what we want to put on our web page. Now I will provide a link in the description of this video if you want to download this exact image if you're following along. So let's close that out and let's open up our website folder and if we go to our images folder you can see the folder is there for us that we just created and we'll just drag our image into here and let's reopen Visual Studio. And as I said, you still have to drag the image into our Visual Studio web project because Visual Studio still doesn't know about it yet. So let's just do that now. And we'll just drag that into here. And now it's part of our website project. So now we're good to go. Now, one thing you can do with these images, instead of having to type out the IMG tag, you're really gonna like this. All you have to do now is drag this where you want to put this on your web page. And like I said, we want to put it between these two paragraphs. And look, Visual Studio created all the code for us. It created the IMG tag, the source attribute, and even the location of our image. So we don't even have to do that. It's all there for us. So let's take a look and see what this looks like on our web page. And we'll load it up here. And if we drill down into our link, you can see we get this big image here. Now obviously this isn't fitting our web page very well, but we're just going to use some CSS to go ahead and auto size this uh, so that it fits our content page because it's sort of bleeding off the edge to the right here. So let's go ahead and fix that. So we'll close this out. So what we're going to do actually is we could create a CSS class for this, but this is only going to be a few rules. And if it's only a few rules, I usually use inline CSS. And you'll remember if you followed my CSS series, we use the style attribute to create inline CSS. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to specify style here. And then we want to set the margin to zero. So we want, so we want to set the margin to zero. And then the next value we're going to use is auto. And auto will actually center our image on our content page. And then we need one more rule, and that is going to be the width property. And we're going to set that at 100, not 1,000, 100%. And then let's close it out with a semicolon. And what this does is it just expands it. No matter what the browser is sized at, it will expand this image to the edges of our main content panel. So it'll look really nice. So let's go ahead and you know what? We'll probably need a few breaks here, a line break. So let's go ahead and copy and paste those down right here. And then let's go ahead and see what this looks like. And hopefully this looks a little bit better. And we'll drill down into our web page. And there, look how nice that looks now. It's even hitting the same margin that we set for the entire content page for the text, remember? Because remember, it will actually inherit that margin of 10 pixels because we put that in a div. So. It's hitting that and everything's nice and lined up on here. Looking pretty good, isn't it? Okay, in the next video, we're gonna actually add a horizontal menu bar here and we're gonna create some more content pages. We're gonna create a home link and a contact us link so that people can click on those. But especially we want a little home button here because when people are drilling all over the place into these different content links, we want them to have a quick way to get back to the home page. So that's what we'll do in the next video. See you guys then.